Hey guys, I'm Billy, and welcome to episode two of my Indie Game Devlog. Today I'm just going to be talking about the changes I've made in the past week. Uh, I'll try to release these on Sundays, so yeah, let's get to it. As you can see here, first changes, I made a build. Last week I was just showing stuff in the editor. A lot of the changes this week are more uh, foundational and don't look that great, hence this, this Unity looking menu. But it all works, so that's the important part for now. If you hit play, you can look at the list of levels. Currently they're all unlocked. I have implemented a, an, a level unlocking system using player prefs. So there's an integer, either zero or one. If it's zero, it is locked. If it is one, it is unlocked. So currently, they're all unlocked. If I go into my options, I can delete all my saved data. So I'm gonna hit yes. And now, only level one is unlocked. Then I also have this. This is kind of just a tool for myself for future testing or looking for bugs or making sure certain levels look good. If I click this, all the levels are unlocked. So now I have access to all of them once again. So I'm just gonna delete that. And then um, obviously if I hit quit, game closes back to your desktop. So now we're back in and I'm just gonna play level one. Last week there was only one type of enemy, this guy that kind of just, he's just passive. He has a collision check to see if you're in range and he also has a ray cast to see if you're visible and then he'll start shooting you. But I introduced these new enemies which are sneaking up on me now. Let me kill them real quick and then I'll explain what's different about them. Okay, so now they're all dead. This new enemy type, I call them hunters. Once they spawn, they'll try to find you and go to you no matter what. So if they can see you or not. If they kind of cheat because they know where you are at all times, but I think it's necessary to keep you on your toes and I can spawn these guys depending on cert if certain triggers are met. We'll talk more about those certain triggers once I pick up the mission objective later on, but um, I'm just going to work through the level and get to the mission objective, so I'll probably uh, speed this up. But one other thing that I implemented this week was blood. I don't know if you noticed it, but I'm going to smoke this guy and you're going to see blood particles come out everywhere. There you go. Now I'm just going to play the rest of the level, get to the mission objective. Alright, so the next change is doors open and close based on whether or not an enemy or the player is within a certain range. Before, I just had a, a collider, and if anyone went into that collider, it would open and stay open. And now it's checking ranges, and if someone is within a certain range, I think it's five units right now, um, the door will open, and then if no one is within that range, it will close. Another important change is the pause menu. So now, right now, the only options are resume and then quit would take you back to the main menu. I don't want to do that right now. This introduced a bug once, right when I implemented it, which I will play a clip of right now. But basically, when you were shooting, the game plays the shoot noise and spawns the bullets, right? In this clip, you could still shoot while the game was paused. So right now, it doesn't do that, but in the clip I'm playing, it does. And it's kind of funny because it you can shoot while it's paused, and then when you unpause, it shoots all these projectiles forward, kind of like a shotgun. So it was interesting, but unintended. So I squashed that bug, and here we are. So now I got one more room to get to the mission objective, so I'm just gonna mop these guys up and then I'll be back. All right, so now we're at the mission objective. Um, it's, right now it's just a box with some particles coming off. Um, earlier I touched on the fact that I could spawn in enemies based on whether or not certain criteria were met. So one of the main ones is once I pick up the mission objective, I'm gonna spawn a, a lot more of those hunter enemies around the outside of the map and then summon that room to the left right when you come in here. So once I pick this up, they should all spawn and start chasing me right when they come in. And to prove that it works, I'll pick it up and come chill by the door and you'll you'll see them start moving in on me. So here's those, those three from that room to the left and then they're also coming in from down low. I'm gonna pause it just to prove that the game actually pauses. So you see there's still the, the blood splatter in the back and there's an enemy next to me, but he's currently not shooting me. Unpause, mop him up. Alright, so now they're all dead. I'm gonna walk to the mission start, which is also the mission exit right now. Currently it's just this green box. Once I walk into that green box, it's going to send a message saying you've won, and it's going to load the second level and also switch that player prep value from zero to one, saying that the second level is unlocked. Gonna take a second. And then level two is loaded. The only thing different about level two right now is the green floor. I was still just implementing these systems so that they work and make uh, my life easier in the future. So now we can quit, 
go to the main menu, and as you can see, level two is unlocked. And the last feature I implemented was when you die, once you hit pause, there'll be a button here that says restart level. So I'm gonna go die real quick. Have all these guys kind of gang up on me. Boom, I'm dead. They all start celebrating. So I believe there's five different celebration animations for the enemies. And they all start off at different random times, so they're not synced up. So even those guys that are waving their hands, they're not playing at the same exact time, so they don't look like robot robotic artificial intelligence. So they're celebrating, I hit escape. I have restart level now, resume and quit. If I hit restart, reloads that level. All right guys, I think that wraps up all the changes for this week. Uh, drop a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want future content, and please leave a comment telling me whether or not the game looks good or if you like the format of my videos or if there's anything I need to change. All right guys, till next week, peace.